Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mount your Arc 2 to both your slider and to a tripod. When we were designing Arc 2, your workflow as a filmmaker was top priority. We wanted things to be fast and efficient to set up. And so we were trying to figure out how do you mount Arc 2 to a slider and to a tripod? Do we use a proprietary quick release so that it's, it's quick, but you can't use it with everything? You can't use it with a standard tripod? After mulling around a ton of ideas, we opted to stick with the standard 3 8 inch thread, but it's a pain to spin your device onto that thread. And so with Arc 2, you actually use the motor to spin it on. Let me show you how it works. Simply put Arc 2 on top of the thread, navigate to mount on off in the main menu. It's gonna ask you which way we're mounting it on. So I'm gonna move over to on. And then it's gonna say, set arc two on mounting stud and hold on. If you don't hold on, this thing's just gonna spin around and you'll probably drop it. So hold on to it and it's gonna tighten. And literally in seconds, it's mounted. Now, if you want some extra security, there is a mounting tool, which you also use for the 501 plate to mount to your camera or to open a bottle of beer at the end of a long day. That's my favorite, but you also use it to tighten up the base to make sure it's not going to slip while you're filming. Now, if you want to move, say you're taking this off of your slider, if you're using the hard shell case and you're packing up after the end of the day, you can also switch very quickly to a tripod. Let me show you how that works. You basically repeat the steps, but in reverse. So I'm going to get my mounting tool out, loosen up arc two, go back into the mount on, mount off, say off it's going to say loosen base with mounting tool and hold on to arc 2. i've already loosened it so i'll press off and it comes off i can either put it in my hard shell case or i can mount it directly onto a tripod in seconds so if you're going from a slider to just using arc 2 for capturing b-roll it's extremely quick to swap them if you have any other questions about the workflow of arc 2 or just general questions at all, please watch our videos or reach out to support at rhinocg.com.